is up guys? It's Nathan with Fish ATX here with my Pelican Catch 100. I've had this thing for a few years now and I've been meaning to make a review video, but it's a perfect time because I've run the hell out of this thing and it's still, you know, in great shape. So I'm going to go over just, you know, some of the accessories that I use, the way that I set it up, some uh, pros and cons of this kayak, and uh, just kind of, I'll also include some clips uh, throughout my video of me fishing and doing whatever on it just to kind of show you how it handles and um, yeah I hope you enjoy this so <clears throat> the kayak itself 10 foot 34 inches wide I think it weighs about 60 pounds um, the sounds super light it's not the easiest thing to pick up but I can actually carry this thing on my shoulder I live in an apartment for the majority of this uh, lifetime of owning this kayak and I could actually carry it from my patio downstairs to my truck. You know, it killed my back a little bit, but it was doable. So, you know, it's a great uh, kayak for, um, you know, easy transport. Um Capacity is 350 pounds, so you can load this thing up with a lot of gear, which I do, and um, you know, it still paddles well. You can stand on it, or I personally can, and um, I think it's it's a great kayak. Definitely a great starter kayak, or if you're, you know, just want to get onto some small bodies of water. I personally like to fish, you know, creeks, rivers, small lakes, so I think this is perfect. If you're gonna go to you know a bigger lake, boat traffic and waves, I don't know if this is gonna be the kayak for you. You can do it, especially if there's like a no-wake zone, you'll be fine. But it's a uh, you know it's a small kayak. You want a longer, longer kayak for those bigger open waters. So one of the biggest things that everyone um, worries about is stability. And this is uh, being a 34-inch wide kayak. It is very stable. Um, I'm 5'5", 150. I can stand up on it, uh, cast, hook a fish. Oh, yeah, got him. Oh, yeah, get him. I'm not saying you can stand all day and be super comfortable. It's a little wobbly, but you can stand up, um, and it has the assist for that. But, you know, as far as feeling stable, you know, I've hooked fish. Uh, I did have one instance where... I was frog fishing, thought he freaking had it, and I tried to set the hook and I almost fell out. But I literally caught myself, fell back in the seat. That was a big one. That was a big one? Big one. Didn't flip. I've never flipped this thing, thankfully. Um, you know, I, I do err on the side of caution. I strap everything down to make sure nothing can fall out if I do flip because I know that's a thing that uh, does happen pretty often to people but it has not happened to me so I really enjoy the stability of this in this kayak. The seat is very comfortable. Um, it has different um, heights you can do, a low, low or high. I always do the high. This is actually a Yak Gear um, paddle strap and so I just have it tied to the seat here and that way I literally will catch a fish and I'll just chunk this thing off. Get it out of the way. That way I don't have to mess with it. And it floats right there beside me um, until I'm done catching that fish. The fish finder I have for it is the Garmin Striker 4 Plus. Um, it was very easy to assemble. I actually didn't drill any holes. I just had the cords running, but it's really easy to drill the holes just from here and up. Um, you can use the pass-through pass -through hole kit. And uh, makes it really easy, but I just never really felt like drilling, and it didn't really get in my way how it sat right here. And I'll do some close-ups um, of all of this stuff as well. But so yeah, the Garmin Tracker Four, it goes to the Scotty arm mount, which um, all these accessories I have a link in my description to, uh, directly to all these these products, and um, I am an Amazon affiliate. So it really helps me out if you go on these links, click them, 
purchase some stuff, that'd be great. If not, no hard feelings, but it does help me out. This arm mount easily swings You can uh, adjust this to swing up. And so whenever I'm not using it, you literally just pull it out and you just turn, loosen it, and you just put it up there. And boom, like going through super shallow water, a lot of weeds or whatever, goes up there super easily. Um, and then, you know, when you want to put it back down, go back down, you tighten that, and you tighten this. And you're ready to go again. And then you just loosen it, pull it off, and you're done. So this, uh, this is super nice to be able just to use it whenever I want it. Doesn't have to be permanent. Assembles very quickly, and uh, it's been a great accessory. Actually, I got this kayak three years ago, actually, exact, almost exactly, and I run the hell out of it. It's been to rivers, small creeks, lakes, ponds. It's been everywhere. I've dragged it across rocks, across the ground. It's a very, very tough plastic. Yeah, I have scrapes and stuff on the bottom, but you know, nothing bad. And I haven't had any issues with it. I think the, the biggest con I have of this um, kayak is the tracking. There is no rudder on, this, on these kayaks. And so you'll turn, you know, if there's wind, it blows you all, all over the place. suggest you're gonna get out a lot on it. There's rudder kits or there's actually a, a skeg that you, you can just, um, I don't think you even have to drill. I think you can just glue it on the back and it just slides in. I have it for my, my power board and that would allow you to have a lot better tracking on this because when you're paddling it does kind of turn. And if you're paddling a, a long distance it's it's pretty pretty tough, pretty painful. I definitely recommend a rudder or a skeg. Besides that, I really don't have any issues with it. It's, it's a great affordable kayak. It's very durable. It's lasted me, you know, for a long time now. And it's just, I love the fact that it's so light and easy to transport. That's, that's the biggest thing that I had since I lived in an apartment. I could, you know, easily get it into my truck, easily just throw it on my shoulder. And, uh, and with the wheels, just pull it anywhere. So to show, I have the paddle strap connected to my seat here. Paddle, connect to the paddle, super comfy seat. And here's just the paddle strap on the side if you wanna just quickly just store that to get it out of the way that comes with it. Um, back here, I have my Plano tackle box, or crate box. And it's really cool. This is a very, very nice, I have this Yeti dry bag on here. This has been amazing. Um, it's a great accessory. It stays closed, watertight, put my phone in there, whatever. Um, very nice. I have also from that bag, I have this Rogue phone tether. This has also saved me because my phone is literally flown off and it just catches it. It fits, I think most phones, um, most iPhones or whatever just straps on there really nicely. This thing is a lifesaver. Also, I have a link down below for that. Uh, here's the anchor. I just have it hooked to a little clip here and uh, use that whenever I can because this thing does blow pretty well in the wind. The crate bag to show y'all just has departments in there. I'll put some plastics, accessories in there. And then I have all my Plastic tackle boxes and top ones, side ones, swim baits in here. Um, yeah, it's a really cool bag. And to show the back of this kayak, I kind of just get a rig of this, but it comes with these straps. 
strap it down however you want, but I keep everything to where if I flip for any reason, which I have not, it's gonna stay in. On the back of this crate, I just added a set of rod holders. And um, yeah, it's very easy. I just attached it with a plastic, plastic zip ties and it sits very nicely just for more rod storage. And I got my swim baits on there, ready to rock, ready to go. This um, Railblazer R-Lock system is awesome. I uh, just screwed in a little base port here, which you can buy for pretty cheap. And um, it has a, just a lock unlock mechanism. Um, this, you can, this pole, you can actually like move in different directions. There's lots of different um, ways you could do it. I just have it straight up. You can have it like off the side angled or whatever. Tons of angles you can do. Um, all these things just snap, snap in, snap out really easily. Lots of adjustments. And you put the GoPro up there for that behind the shoulder um, view, which I like a lot. And I think it's just a good point of view for shooting fishing kayak footage. Okay, so to show you a little close up of the setup about the Garmin, it's on simulation mode right now. And um, yeah, it just hooks in with this Scotty mount, very sturdy and it runs down transducer right there to the wires. And uh, it was very easy to assemble. Didn't take any time at all. Get the wires in, just kind of get them out of the way, keep it clean. So the wires go from here, they run down into this. And so in here, I have this little Plano box, um, also from Amazon, and I'll uh, get this out and show y'all but um, it's been really nice. I mean, the water doesn't really get in here anyways, so I didn't have to water tight, uh, make this water tight or anything. This has been really nice. The battery box is in there, and uh, it just stays out of the way. And this will still close, you know, without an issue, but you can also drill, drill inside this kayak and have the wires come up right here, which would be super clean. Okay, to show the battery box, um, super simple, it's just a Plano box, um, very cheap. On Amazon, all I did was drill a hole for the wires. Um, I put some Velcro on the bottom, if you can see that. And then I put Velcro on the bottom of this guy. That'll just sit in like that. It sticks, that way it's not gonna slide around. And then you can you know, put whatever valuables in there too. Um, you can just close that up. Super easy. And so this Plano box, I also put Velcro right here. And you can see it. Put Velcro inside the bottom of this. Sorry, it's a little gross in there. But yeah, I have the Velcro on the bottom and on the top um, to help that box. Which I have Velcro <clears throat> here and on the bottom. And that just makes it sit snug up against there. And so um, it's not going to move around with waves or whatever. And I haven't had any issues. Super easy, simple fix. And it is not moved around at all. It's pretty nice. So as I said before, I've had this thing for multiple years. So there's probably things I'm not thinking of. Um, in the comments below, just ask any questions you have and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Um, any questions about stability or just, you know, fishing on it. Anything, anything you want to ask, just ask away and as I said before uh, I'm an Amazon affiliate so I have all the links for all of these accessories down below um, links to Amazon and I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time